What's up everyone? I'm filming my kitchen right now rather than my usual filming setup. And that's because I wanted to quickly address a question I get a lot, which is when you take orders on Shopify, how do you fulfill those using Amazon FBA? And that's a great question. All Amazon sellers should have their own website they can take orders through. Now it doesn't have to be on Shopify. You could use something like WooCommerce or another e-commerce platform, but I personally use Shopify and tons of other people do. And it's really a good platform to go with because it's easy and quick to set up. The value of having your own website is that when someone buys from you, they're completely your customer. You get their contact info, their shipping info, and you can follow up with them for more marketing, upsells, et cetera. When someone buys from you on Amazon, they're technically Amazon's customer. So that means they get to keep all the info. And recently Amazon has been making it harder and harder to share information. So they're not sharing as much information with us as they used to, and you definitely don't get any emails or phone numbers. As an Amazon seller, you probably already have inventory stored with Amazon using FBA. So the question is, once you get an order on your Shopify website, how do you fulfill that using the inventory you already have stored with Amazon? And that's what I'm gonna show you right now. So the first step is to connect your Shopify account with your Amazon account. And how we do that is by going to the Shopify Help Center, go ahead and search Fulfillment by Amazon, and it should be this first document here, Fulfillment by Amazon. Currently, Shopify says the integration is only available for Amazon accounts in the United States and Canada. So if you ever integrated an app with your Amazon account before, it's the exact same process. If you never have, that's completely fine. I'll walk you through step by step. But all you have to do is click on this link here and it'll take you by the steps to integrate your two accounts. Now this next step is actually one of the main reasons why I wanted to make this video. And that's because Shopify says to do a lot of things that I have found to not be necessary. So we'll take each of these steps one by one. You don't have to create a separate rate for each Amazon shipping option right here. You can just do, if you just wanna offer standard shipping, I do that on my shop, I just offer standard shipping, I don't offer two day shipping. I've actually found Amazon's fulfillment to be really fast, so I haven't really needed to offer two day shipping or one day shipping, but if you wanna offer that, you can. Now the next step here, it says to copy the name of the Amazon shipping rates and put those in the shipping rate name field. I found that not to be necessary, you can change the naming if you want, just make sure if you change the naming that you change it to something that you understand. For example, if you take standard shipping and you call it free shipping, if you're offering free shipping on your store and you wanna call it free shipping as opposed to standard shipping, that's completely fine. Just make sure you know what that is. If you change two day shipping to some other naming uh, sequence, just make sure that you know that that's the two day one, so you select it. And the third step down here, it says to base the criteria on the order weight, not price. I actually do the opposite on my store and it works completely fine. So I have the shipping price based on the order value. If the customer spends a certain amount in the order, they pay shipping. If they spend over a certain amount, they get free shipping. So you can set it up based on price, not on order weight, and it still works fine. Now, if you are getting errors with syncing, you can always come back to this help document and follow it step by step. But like I said, I haven't found it to be necessary and it works completely fine. The next thing we need to do is connect our products on Shopify so that they sync over with Amazon. You can do this by creating a new product or if you already have products on Shopify, you can edit them as well. The first section we need to take a look at is the inventory section. So the first thing you want to do is change the inventory from managed by Shopify to managed by Amazon Marketplace Web. And this next thing here is really important, which is you need to put your Amazon SKU here. If you go onto your Amazon account, go to manage inventory, there should be a column there that says SKUs. Pick the correct SKU for the product and place it right here. You can also go to edit your product on Amazon and find your SKU there as well. Keep track quantity selected because the nice thing about this integration is it will sync your inventory from Amazon. So when you make a sell on Shopify, it will minus it from your inventory on Amazon. And if you're making sales on Amazon, it will show less inventory available on Shopify. The next section we need to take a look at is shipping. You can keep this as a physical product selected. And this next part here relates to what I mentioned before, which is you do not actually have to set it up based on weight. You can set the shipping price uh, based on the order value. But if you want to set it by weight, you can adjust that here. I don't mess with anything in the customs information. I leave that blank. And if you have variants, all you'd have to do is go into each variant, hit edit, and you'll see these options. And you put in the SKU for each variant and edit it the same way. And the next step is to go ahead and fulfill the orders once you receive them. Now, the one downside to the Shopify integration is you have to fulfill the orders manually. There are some other multi-channel fulfillment apps available. So if you get up to a very high volume of orders on your Shopify store, you can always look into one of those and use that instead. 
But fulfilling it on Amazon manually is really easy, just takes a couple clicks and you can just go in at the end of the day, fulfill the orders and that's that. All you need to do is come in here and click request fulfillment. Once you click request fulfillment, you'll be brought to the next page. You can leave everything exactly as is, just make sure you select the shipping method that the customer selected. So I only offer standard shipping, so for me it's always standard shipping. But if you want to also offer expedited shipping, you can go ahead and select that if the customer paid for that. And you can leave everything else the same. You don't have to put in a tracking number and you can leave this selected so the customer will get notified once the order is shipped. And then all you have to do is click fulfill items and it will sync it over to Amazon. And then once you've requested the order to be fulfilled, if you scroll down on the orders page, you'll see your timeline. And you'll see down there that it has been requested for fulfillment. And then everything else will be taken care of by Amazon. So once the order is shipped, your customer will receive an order confirmation and it will go from there. I also wanted to mention the fees that Amazon charges for these fulfillment orders. So just recently, Amazon actually announced that they're going to be changing the fee structure. So starting on April 1st, 2020, these are the current multi-channel fulfillment fees. So those are the multi-channel fulfillment fees are the fees that you'll be charged when you fulfill an order through another channel like Shopify. Go ahead and look at your product, what your size is, what the weight is, and you can find in here what it's going to cost. If you're not sure what size your product is, go into the help documents on Amazon, search to find product sizes and find what category yours fits in. But as an Amazon seller, you probably know that already. Go in here, find it. Most will probably fall into this category here of the large standard size. So about between $550 and just under $6 is probably what you're going to pay per order. That's for a single unit. And if they buy multiple units, uh, your shipping price will go down as well. And that's all there is to it. Really simple to set up. If you have any questions, go ahead and throw it down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please take a second to like it. If you're new here, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you in the next one.